to Weather Underground. Time now for rapid weather. We're going to start across parts of the west where we have action on the radar and not just up towards the Seattle Portland areas but also through California. We have rain showers falling here across parts of coastal California areas south of San Francisco. That's where there's some light to moderate rainfall once again. So south of Monterey around the Greenfield area uh, traveling the 101 you've got rainfall as well as the five areas south and west of Mendota seeing a little bit of moderate rainfall there as well. And this is not the end of the rain across parts of the west. We're going to keep rain showers in Los Angeles' forecast into Friday morning. Not the only place that's getting some interesting nope. weather. We've actually got the highest elevations, maybe another 5 to 8, Alex. All right, snow dot sounds like a delicious candy. Not talking about snow, though, across parts of the country that aren't the Northeast, really. South uh, East, South Central, North Central, Plains, everybody getting in on those above average highs. Over 150 million people feeling the warmth. Thanks to this upper level high pressure that's settling in, expanding through the weekend. That keeps your temperatures 5, 10, 15, 20 plus degrees above normal. And in fact, we're expecting record setting heat as well for some of these areas. Uh, Oklahoma City, you're going to be in the 80s. Same for Atlanta. Look at New Orleans, well above that average high of 77 degrees degrees for this time of the year just one of many it's it for a lot of people I feel like they're now at the point where like okay it's too much it, it was nice yeah no but I'd like it to be fall for a change I'm ready for fall too many consequences it's of, November of now I think early October mid October people are like all yeah. right now it's too much no we're, we're now to the point where it's Halloween you've we're gone thinking too about far Thanksgiving weather. right yeah for sure uh, okay so yesterday one of our viewers by the way has sent us a great tweet and asked if the lingering heat this fall has actually extended the allergy mm -hmm. season right and that had us wondering so we got in touch with dr stanley finneman with atlanta allergy and asthma and he's joining us now via skype to answer some of these questions doctor both mike and i have been complaining i've been sneezing he's been coughing it has to be allergies right does uh, the longer warm season have on certain allergens. Uh, what, what environmental allergens then become worse? Make things worse for people who suffer from the allergies, having that extended season, does that, I mean, I'm sure it prolongs the sneezing and the itching, but does it actually make things worse? Dr. Stanley Feynman, I'm sure you're booked up for tomorrow. Thank you so much for your insight. <laughs> it was great talking with you. Thanks Thank for calling you. me. That comment that he just yeah. made saying that it could be more potent yeah, because of the longer growing season. Super pollen. Really scary. Yeah. Just when you thought it was bad, Dr. Feynman's like, oh, but wait. And I think for a lot of people who I mean, we've ran into it, that this situation at work where people said, I've never really been an allergy sufferer mm -hmm. before, but man, is it getting to me this year. Yeah, so perhaps uh. Uh, maybe the regular pollen wasn't the issue, but now that they're stronger and tougher. I don't I don't like the sounds no, of that. I don't either. What do you say?